17 News is your local election headquarters with exactly one week to go until Election Day. Leaders with the McFarland Unified School District are turning to the voters asking for approval of a multi-million dollar bond measure. 17's Eitan Wallace spoke with district leaders and joins us now with their message. Eitan? Yeah, district leaders say if passed, this bond measure would provide much needed funding for improvement projects throughout the district. Bend it to fit to create the arm. This is a specialized lab at McFarland's Browning Road STEAM Academy. The elementary school is one of just a handful in the state teaching students how to use a 3D printer. At this school, the students are learning how to build a prosthetic arm. Why have you just changed these colors? Dario Diaz is the principal. Kids engage in science and technology and in engineering. But at the very same school, some of the facilities are not available for use because they are condemned. Or in other words... The building that we're looking at is actually structurally unsafe. It's, um, it's compromised. Across town here at Kern Avenue Elementary, we have another condemned building. This one is deemed seismically unsafe. And now... It's just sitting here. Principal Mayela Buhanda Medina says that is only one of the issues her school is facing. She says the roofs lack proper gutters and inside the library she showed us this. The ceiling tiles um, are stained from the water leaks. The water has dripped so much that's even um, eating up the, the tile and so it's uh, disintegrating. The McFarland Unified School District wants to fix these problems, but district leaders say they need money to make repairs, which is why the district is behind Measure B, a $30 million bond that would be paid for through an annual property tax of $55 per $100,000 of assessed property value, or an average increase of roughly 5 to $6 per month. This will be a support not just to the students, but to the community. Superintendent Aaron Resendez points out funds from the bond also would go towards building this brand new multi-purpose room at McFarland High School. It would serve as a cafeteria, auditorium, and gymnasium all rolled into one. <laughs> the buildings on campus today, he says, are just too small for the growing student population. We've got about a thousand students at McFarland High School and our cafeteria currently seats about 200 and on days where it's raining, if it's 100 degrees outside, then this, uh, many of our students, the lion's share of the students, are outside in the elements and this is something that you'll not you won't visit any other comprehensive high school in the central valley that has these types of issues he says the new gym and auditorium would ensure no one is turned away at future sporting events or graduation ceremonies now he is a message for the voters if we do not pass a bond uh, decades could go past. It could pass by and we'll never have an opportunity to address these, these issues. These are things that our kids deserve. These are, these are not uh, big asks. These are, these are to address needs, not wants. And the kids right now, our future engineers, our future reporters, and, uh, and doctors and lawyers are sitting in second, third, fourth grade classrooms right now. And so we want to take this, this opportunity to, to give them what they need so that they can be successful in school and into the future. Measure B needs 55% to pass, and if it does, the bond will be paid back over 25 years. Now, we should mention there is no known formal opposition to this measure, and the current Taxpayers Association is supporting it. To find out why, head to our website, kget.com. In studio, Eitan Wallace, 17 News.